front. Another one that's going to be a big impact on the tropics. That's what we're going to focus in on. So we're going to go from the eastern Gulf and the recovery in Florida to another portion of the Gulf, and that's the Bay of Campeche, where we have tropical storm Coral that continues, and it's been in this region for days. So that's a big factor when you look at this is just the movement overall, only seven miles per hour south-southeast. So it's kind of hovering here where you see all of that convection, explosive magenta on there. That's where it's going to kind of move over towards Frontera late tonight. Overnight hours when we anticipate landfall potentially for southern Mexico. So there is a tropical storm force or tropical storm warning for winds uh, along the southern coast there. And again, winds are right around 40 miles per hour. The main concern with this system, because of the slow movement, is the amount of rain that can dump in these areas. And so flooding, whether it's flash flooding or just Overall flooding will be a concern for those areas coastal and then moving inland as you'll see this will deteriorate quickly as it moves inland. But because of a tropical nature, they are broad. It can still scoop up that Gulf moisture and dump it inland. So by 1 p.m. tomorrow, you're still seeing all of this rain here in southern Mexico and even rain in Central America. And so when we look at the rain, it's really going to be again on the eastern side of this where you'll get some isolated spots there in red where it's not out of the question. You could get up to a foot of rain. Again, we know what that leads to. As you'll see, this is through Sunday, a small window of time. The next 48 hours, you get that much rain. Flooding will be a concern. Something we'll continue to watch here in the days to come. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.